would they want to keep some old busted vase like this one? Because it's an ancient treasure, silly. It has historical value. You mean hysterical value. I've seen better junk in Mr. Wilson's attic. Really, Dennis, you are so uncultured. Here's something they forgot to open. It's the tomb of King Putt-Putt. Give me a hand, Margaret, so we can see what he looks like. Me? Touch that dusty old thing? Absolutely not! Chicken. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Gee, the poor guy must have been in a bad accident. He's all bandaged up. That shows that you know he happens to be a 5,000-year-old mummy. How can a he be a mommy? Not mommy. Mummy, dummy. <laughs> <laughs> Dummy? <laughs> I think he's trying to tell me something. What's up, big guy? <laughs> oh, you want to be hugged. Sure, I'll be your friend. Why not? <laughs> hey, your clothes are falling off. I'll fix that. Ow! Better. Come on, I'll show you around town. Things have probably changed a lot in 5,000 years. Hmm? Well, Your Highness, what do you think of the place? Wow. Hey! I forgot to tell you, watch out for that first step. Well, what do you think of modern civilization? Can't you watch where you're going? I've got work to do. Oh, please. Let me help you. All right. Go in the house and find me a rag. I got one. Right here. Gee, I wonder what got into him. 
Exactly where is your friend sailboat, Henry? Just a little further, dear. Well, gang, here she is. This beat-up thing? Yeah, isn't she a beauty? Frankly, Mr. Mitchell, she is ugly enough to be a he. Now, gang, let's not look a gift skip in the mouth. It was nice of my friend to let us use it. Are you sure he's your friend? Very funny. All hands prepare to get underway. Shouldn't someone untie those strings first? Uh, well, I was just about to do that. Oh, wow! Is this ever neat? It's got a steering wheel. And look, it's even got a key. You'd better not touch that. Why not? <laughs> That's why! <laughs> Steady as she goes on course north by northwest. What a beautiful day for sailing. This is the local weather advisory. There is a major storm developing in our area. All ships return to port. That's ridiculous. Look at the blue sky. Henry. Uh-oh. Mr. Mitchell, what did you do in the Navy when this happened? I battened down the hatches. And hang on for dear life. Oh! <gasps> Right? Where are we? We've been shipwrecked. Where are the children? Margaret! Dennis! Ooh! It's about time you guys woke up. We were going to surprise you by making breakfast. Coconuts? For breakfast? Sure. What do you think they make cocoa from? Here, Dad. Start cooking these. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ouch! Ouch! <laughs> What are those bamboo poles for, dear? We'll have to build a shelter. Hey, everybody! Look what we found! It's a real live parrot! And his name is Lucky. Lucky? Ah, that's right! I bring good luck to whoever I'm around. That's whomever. Ah, but I'm willing to make an exception in your case. What you building, Dad? Monkey bars? No, son. It's going to be our new home. Can we help? Sure. Go find me some more bamboo logs. Right. Come on, Margaret. You kids be careful now. Ah, no problem. What could happen to them with yours truly along? I hate to think. Parties. Listen! Wh wh what's that? Ah, jungle drums! That's 
how the natives communicate with each other. What are they saying? Sorry, I don't read other people's mail. How would you like to sit in for our Thanksgiving turkey? <laughs> Since you ask in uh, such a nice way, uh, they're saying the Great Volcano is angry because there are strangers on the island. The great Volcano? I want to go home! And that area on the right is the guest room. It's very nice, Henry. But who's going to visit us in this place? You never know who might drop in. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> like these folks, for instance. Hi, we're the Mitchells. What's your name? Booga Booga. Is that Mr. Booger, or may I call you Ooga? Unga Munga Kalabunga. Where do you think they're taking us? They look friendly enough. They're probably taking us home to dinner. That's what I'm afraid of. Mom, Dad, we've got to clear out of here. Th there are fierce natives on this island. Ah, this place is for the birds. They're gone. Listen. More jungle drums. Uh-oh. The drums say they've captured two strangers. It's gotta be Mom and Dad. You're a big fake. You're not good luck after all. Ah, sure I am. They didn't capture me, did they? Hurry, you guys. We gotta save them. Look, there they are. And they're all tied up. Kamalunga Babanuga. Henry, I don't like the looks of this. Mm -hmm. Neither do I, Alice. Hey, no fair. They're getting a scenic tour of the island. The trouble is, it's a one-way ticket. They're headed for that bubbling volcano. Well, why didn't you say so? Lucky, fly to Mom and Dad and tell them not to worry. I've got a plan. Uh, Roger Wilco! Another such stirring Air Force talk. Ah. Ahoy there! Lucky! I see I can't leave you two alone for a minute. Okay, Mr. Good Luck Charm. Let's see you get us out of this. What's it worth to you? Name your price. Okay! A lifetime supply of poly seeds! What? That could cost a fortune. You parrots live for a hundred years. Henry, this is no time to quibble. You've got a deal. So what's your great idea, Smarty? I don't know. Maybe you could tell them about your doll Molly and put them all to sleep. Very funny. Ta-da! <laughs> She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. She'll be driving six white horses. She'll be driving six white horses. She'll be driving six white horses when she did you bring us way out here? Ah, I saw something when I was flying around over this spot. This! An old seaplane. Hank, can you fly one of these babies? Can I? My dad can fly anything with wings. Ah, well, I'd better not climb on my back. Way to go, Dad! Oh, Henry, you did it! Look! Now, about those seeds. They've got to be strictly fresh. Ah, and not the salted kind. Oh, and another thing. Not those pre-packaged ones. Ah, and not those seeds with the hard shark. Oh, they get caught in my gun. Never this 
wake up. It's breakfast time. Come on, son, you can't sleep your life away. Dennis, are you up yet? Are you kidding, Dad? I've been up for hours. Oh, no. <clears throat> Wowie zowie, that was a blast. Can we do that again, Dad? Come on, you can't sleep your life away. So what's on the menu? We're going out for breakfast. It's on me. Oh, boy, I'll go wake up Mom. She'll be surprised. No, you don't. The whole idea is to let her sleep late. Where are we going? You'll see. How come the tables are out on the street, Dad? Didn't they pay the rent? It's an outdoor cafe. They're the latest thing. Now go inside and pick out a nice, healthy breakfast while I read my paper. Healthy? I knew there was a catch to it. Oh, wow! Look at all those great pies! An apple pie. They say an apple pie a day keeps the doctor away. Huh? Oh, my! Is that what I think it is? Yeah, mm -hmm. it's an apple pie. Only it's the last one. In that case, I'll take it. Hey, lady, that's my pie. Top tamales, kid. Come on, lady, please. Children shouldn't indulge in such treats. But I picked it out first. Will you get lost? Remember, it's survival of the hungriest. Why don't you pick on a kid your own size? Boy, some big people have really small manners. What seems to be the trouble here? I picked out a pie, and that lady stole it. Can you get it back for me? Forget it. We don't want to upset her. She's one of our best customers. But please don't worry. <laughs> we have many other kinds of pies to choose from. Oh, goody. Pumpkin pie. I'll take it. Now, where's that money? Uh oh there it goes. On second thought, this pie looks so good, I think I'll eat it here. Wow! Oh, no. <laughs> I demand an apology. I've never been so humiliated in all my life. Really, ma'am, if you're unhappy with our products, merely return them. Great, I found it. I'm taking my business elsewhere. Ah! Oh. Are you all right? Of course I'm not all right. You did this to me and so did this brat. I want him thrown out. I just may sue you for every penny you've got. I'm terribly sorry, madam. I... <laughs> Allow me to... to help you up. Oh, boy. Huh? All right, so I'm not a great tipper, but that's no reason to get violent. Hey, mister, it wasn't her. It was her. I hope you'll like cherry pie. This is better than television. <laughs> Who are you laughing at? I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing with you. Why, I ought to... You ought to what? Here, mister. I figure you might need this. That's the little brat, and he's the cause of all this. Thanks, kid. You were saying, ma'am? You wouldn't. I wouldn't. Huh? <laughs> There's a sale on nails at the hardware store. Hey, fellas! I think they're gonna need some more pies out here. And quick! For serving or for selling? For throwing! <laughs> All right, Louis, this means war. Let's step up production. I'll help you, mister. <laughs> this is too slow. We gotta speed up the attack. <laughs> All right! Way to go, kid! Car 53 at the scene hmm. of the 315. I wonder what a police car is doing here. All right. What's this about a pie fight? Pie fight? What pie fight? <clears throat> that pie fight. Oh, oh, no. Dennis! Excuse me, I'm looking for my son. That was a close one. Dennis! 34, 35... Dennis, over here! 36. Oh no, Dennis, not. Your father. Sorry, Dad. I guess my reflexes are a little too fast. Hi, Mom. Guess where Dad and me went for breakfast? Wherever it is, I can't believe it. You ate an entire meal and you're still clean. That's because I know when to duck. When to duck? 
Maybe you should ask Dad. Don't ask, Alice. Just don't ask. Oh, Henry. <laughs> I guess the breakfast was on him. <laughs>